In a world where sentient vehicles disguise themselves as ordinary Earth cars, because why not, we find ourselves amidst the chaos of a pesky extraterrestrial conflict. Enter Samwood Wiki, a bumbling teenager who stumbles upon a pair of ordinary, totally not robotic spectacles that just so happen to be the key to an ancient race's secrets. And no, they're not your regular run-of-the-mill glasses, oh no. These are the legendary AllSpark Enigma frames, capable of creating an all-powerful MacGuffin called the AllSpark. Still following? Good, because things are about to get even crazier. Meanwhile, lurking in the cosmos, the Decepticons, a bunch of intergalactic antagonists with a penchant for shiny chrome and plot convenience, are hell-bent on finding the AllSpark and turning Earth into their own personal scrap heap. Led by the fearsome Megatron, who must have missed the memo on subtlety because he transforms into a giant metal scorpion, clearly the optimal disguise for a sneaky infiltration mission. But wait, there's more. Alongside the Decepticons is Starscream, the angsty, rebellious seeker who can transform into an F-22 Raptor, because we all know fighter jets just blend right in during rush hour traffic. His sole purpose in life is to out-scheming everyone, but somehow ends up as the equivalent of an interstellar punching bag, taking more beatings than an Autobot piñata at a Cybertronian birthday party. Speaking of Autobots, they're the good guys, or so they claim, consisting of a diverse group of sentient alien vehicles, including the wise and enigmatic Optimus Prime, who transforms into a semi-truck and has a penchant for delivering overly dramatic speeches about freedom and destiny. They've come to Earth to protect humanity, a questionable decision, given our driving skills, and to locate the AllSpark before the Decepticons turn our beloved planet into a cosmic junkyard. Oh, did I mention there's also a secret government organization called Sector 7, headed by the eccentric Agent Simmons? They spend their time desperately trying to keep the existence of the Transformers under wraps while simultaneously failing at it epically. They've got their hands on a frozen Megatron, who looks like a cross between a mechanical ice cube and a very angry ice sculpture. And believe me, things get even more chaotic when he defrosts and decides to throw a temper tantrum of epic proportions. As the plot thickens faster than synthetic Cybertronian lubricant, Sam and Michaela find themselves caught in the crossfire between the warring factions, with Decepticons hot on their trail. They embark on a breathless chase across cities, deserts, and highways, with more close calls than a Cybertronian demolition derby. Amidst the chaos, the AllSpark becomes the coveted prize, with its immense power capable of reshaping the universe. Deception, betrayal, and a good dose of slapstick humor ensue as the fate of Earth hangs in the balance. Explosions erupt, metal clashes against metal, and witty one-liners are exchanged faster than Megatron can transform into a sentient weapon of mass destruction. Ultimately, it is up to Sam and his unlikely team of Autobots, armed with courage, loyalty, and a pinch of teenage awkwardness, to save the day and prevent the Decepticons from reducing our world to a pile of twisted wreckage. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, and try to keep track of which robot is which, hint, the shiny one is probably the good guy, and the rusty one is likely the bad guy. Transformers 2007, a baffling yet entertaining spectacle that'll leave you questioning the existence of alien life and contemplating whether you've been wasting your time on the wrong kind of car.